Janome. Okay, let's take a closer look now at Janome's new cloth guide. And the first thing you may notice is how long or how wide this cloth guide is compared to other cloth guides. And that's because this cloth guide was specifically designed to fit the much wider throat space we have available to us on the Continental Series sewing machines. On the metal portion of the cloth guide itself, you're going to find measurement markings along the top US measurements and along the bottom metric measurements. The U.S. measurements are in quarter inch increments and it also includes a five eighths inch increment line. If you're a quilter, uh, you can achieve your scant quarter inch, quarter inch. If you're a garment sewer, uh, you can achieve your five eighths inch seams, two inch and three inch hems all the way out to eight inches. Uh, the cloth guide is adjustable. You simply slide the red indicator line to your desired um, measurement and you push this button to lock the cloth guide into place. The cloth guide features this nice thick acrylic lip, which allows you to very easily butt your fabric up against. It's also super easy to install. You simply remove uh, the plastic bobbin hook cover on your stitch plate and you snap this portion in its place. It also features this little peekaboo window. If you don't have your low bobbin sensor turned on, you can peer down into this hole and you can see how much thread you have left on your bobbin. Here we are at the sewing machine and we're working with the Continental M7. I want to show you how easy it is to install the new cloth guide. Basically, you just need to remove the plastic bobbin um, hook cover and set that aside. And then, um, Working with this area of your cloth guide, the side with the three tabs, place those tabs into uh, the bobbin hook area and lay the um, cloth guide down and it's installed. It's that easy. It works exactly the same way as the circular stitch attachment. To remove uh, the cloth guide, you just want to um, press the button and remove it like you would your bobbin hook cover. The only suggestion I make is that you make sure this acrylic um, guide is out of the way so that you can access that button. You press the button and just remove the cloth guide. It's that easy. Okay. What's real nice about working with this cloth guide and besides how easy it is to install is that it will work with all three of the stitch plates that come with the M7 including the HP plate. Um, it also uh, doesn't require you to move the needle position. It can stay in the center position and you can work with your regular um, zigzag foot, presser foot. Um, let's say we wanna do a quarter inch seam. So basically you're gonna line this up at the quarter inch marking using that red indicator and lock it into place. Um, you can double check that you're at a quarter inch by checking to see on your stitch plate that this lip is lined up with that quarter inch marking, which it is. And then you place your piece of fabric um, butt up against this lip and away you sew. I'm using green uh, thread so it really shows up on camera. Okay, and once you get to the end, Okay, you can take and um, measure that that is a true quarter inch seam. Now let's say that you um, want to sew a scant quarter inch. If you take your red indicator line and you just move it a couple of hairs over to the left of the quarter inch marking and lock that um, cloth guide back into place, you can now, um, stitch your scant quarter inch. If you butt that piece of fabric up again to that ledge and uh, lower your presser foot and away you go. Okay, and look at that. You have a um, beautiful scant quarter inch. It's The stitching line is just inside uh, that quarter inch um, 
uh, line of stitching. In both cases that I just showed you, there's some of the feed dogs which are still exposed, right? When stitching the quarter inch. Now, if you're someone who chooses to have all the feed dogs in contact with your fabric for maximum control, you can use the piecing setting. So if you go into quilts and you choose your quarter inch, um, it moved the needle over uh, to the right for that quarter inch. And um, then you would just need to set the quarter inch from that needle position to the edge of the slip, okay? Which I know where that is now on my cloth guide. Um, and then basically what you've done here is you're creating um, a situation where your fabric is in contact with all of the feed dogs at all times so that you have uh, really maximum control over that stitching. Basically butt that fabric up against that ledge and sew your quarter inch. And there you go, a beautiful quarter inch. And that's using uh, the quarter inch setting in the machine where the needle actually moves to the right.